Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks with Hachiman. Got a uh, replay for you from uh, Thermo in his fury. You've seen Thermo in a lot of my videos, but this is one of the, if not the first, one of the first replays. I think this is the first replay I've ever done that's exclusively his. He's playing by himself. He's in his fury, a tank which he has played quite a bit, extremely well. You see the mark of excellence there. And um, he's in a tier 6 battle in El Haluf. And um, <laughs> with an exactly 50% chance to win as per XVM. So in other words, the teams are pretty evenly matched. Thermo is, um, as a top tier tank and a medium, he's charging across here to head up into Bravo 2. Uh, it's a move that I make on this map pretty much any time I'm in a medium or heavy tank. And um, this underlies the importance of taking and holding Bravo 2. That's what you're going to, if you take anything from this video, beyond what the Fury's capable of, um, take that. He turns left here and swings down the hill, which is a move I make almost every time I'm in a medium tank, Pick up, picking up a little speed. It also gives you a chance to snipe at anybody who might be coming down that hill quickly trying to cap. And then he's coming up right behind the Cromwell. Cromwell's taking fire from the Chaffee. It's amazing how that Chaffee went unspotted. Thermo can't quite get on him, so he ignores the Chaffee, switches the M8A1, puts a shot into him. Cromwell finishes the M8A1. He misses the PZ4H. He's locking on. In this type of engagement, you really don't have a lot of time to aim with a medium tank. If you have the penetration power, locking on is the way to go. Sorry about the graphic lag there, not sure what that was all about. He's keeping his options open. T-150's coming in, puts one into him, locks on, second shot misses, third shot bounces. There's that Soviet armor for you. Now, you're about to see right here People are always asking me, Hachiman, what is it with you and American tanks? Why do you love American tanks so much? Well, here's why. Look at this position. He is on the back side of the hill. Okay? Looking over with his gun depression to aim at this Cromwell. Oh, the only shot the Cromwell has is on his gun mantlet, which we all know you don't want to shoot an American tank on the gun mantlet. Um, that's why I love American tanks so much. They provide me a flexibility to use terrain that you just don't get from other tanks. Germans are close. Churchill 1 comes out, bad move, because Thermo, Thermo backs up a little more, and he's just going to pound this poor guy. Yeah, that's it. Four shots for the kill. Easy 4 h comes out, takes a shot at the Cromwell, misses. Thermo, I can almost sense he wants to go down there, but he's not in a big hurry. Oh, he anticipated the Cromwell was going to keep moving forward, so the shot misses. He wants to go down there, but he's just not convinced he can do it safely yet. And here comes a KV-220. Puts one shot into the 220 as 220 runs by. 3601H rushes the Cromwell. That's why Thermo held off. He was waiting for someone to make that move. But now he can come in here and just pound this 3601H. And the Hellcat finishes him off. Thermo backs off a second to make sure it's safe, but he knows what he needs to do at this point, and off he goes. Flank those two heavies holding the corner. While his buddies pressure the KV-1 so that they can move on. Because that KV-220 has racked up two kills. But not for much longer. T-150 is just oblivious. I don't know how that shot missed. And T-150 is moving for a shot. Oh, nope. That shot misses. 
that shot hits. In the in the American tanks with three inch guns, the Fury, Easy Eight, Jumbo. If you have vents in a rammer with 100% loader, your reload time is 2.79 seconds. And if you find yourself in a tier 6 game where you're top dog with a lot of tier 5 targets, just lock on. Okay? I mean, don't aim for weak points unless you've got a really tough tank like an AT-8. Um, because simply locking on, the gun's got enough punch to handle anything at this tier. Uh, especially if you flank it, which is what you should be doing in a medium tank anyway. KV-1... Yeah, no chance for you, buddy. You're you're done for. So they've cleared the northern part except for that stupid ELC AMX who's running around the map. But you saw how important that hill at Bravo 2 was. You have to take that hill with medium tanks. And once you clear it, oh, Hellcat. Nice shot with the Hellcat on the move, full, running full speed. He locks on, takes a shot, which has really no chance of hitting at the Hellcat's relative uh, direction. Now, I'd have been tempted to snipe at the KV-1S right there, but Thermo wants this Hellcat. Takes one hit, a premium round, and finishes the Hellcat. Takes a hit from a T1 Heavy way off in the distance somewhere. Locks on to the KV-1S, maneuvering for a shot. Doesn't take it. There we go. Misses. Alright, he gets one in. KV-1S was on fire anyway. And now it's there's a T-1 Heavy and a Chaffee out there. Um, but yeah, those American 3-inch guns, man. 2.79 seconds. The T-1 Heavy has the same gun as the Tier 6 mediums, though it's a little slower. I think it's exactly a quarter second slower. Um, which is still very fast. You can just lock on to most targets and just flood them with a volume of fire. Um, that That's what this gun is good at. That's T poor T1 Heavy. I was <laughs> trying to climb that hill. Oh, don't make it in time. So now there's just a Chaffee running around out there somewhere. Where's the Chaffee going to appear? I mean, Thermo and his team cap in less than a minute. I mean, this Chaffee has no chance anyway, and he knows that. I don't know why anyone thinks he's up there. Thermo's got four kills, 1,868 damage. Heck of a performance. And he's capping. I want to speed up time a little bit. Uh, where's the Chaffee? Where's the Chaffee? No one's found him yet. <laughs> there he is. You could almost think that Thermo's spidey sense was tingling. Ugh. See, look at the rate of fire on that. I mean, that's just fantastic. That Chaffee backs up to take a shot because he thinks it's safe. And then that's it. His team caps 2,000 damage, essentially, for Thermo. High caliber, mastery badge, ace tanker with four kills. Great performance in the Fury, but again, it shows you what the medium tanks need to be doing on this map. Uh, taking that hill in Bravo 2 so that the heavies can't get flanked in Alpha 1 and so that, it, when, so that when the time comes, they can flank the enemy heavies in Alpha 1. Uh, great strategic play, exactly what he needed to accomplish. Hope you guys liked the video.